Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more on BSPWM. Now, it's been a little while since the first uh, video I did in BSPWM, and those of you who've been watching my other videos know I've been spending quite a bit of time in DWM. Uh, and it shows because I have no clue how to get around BSPWM anymore, as I've completely forgotten. Um, I will try to stop hitting the microphone with my headphones. Really gotta stop that. Anyway, so today, uh, a couple tasks. I'm going to finish up Rising Polybar up here. I would also like to add, see if there's the ability to add some uh, more workspaces to be speed up because I need more than 10 in order to be productive. I know that sounds dumb because I mean, who uses more than 10 workspaces? But I do. Um, I'd love to do 20 or 19 or 15, something like that. Um, I'm also going to go through and clean up the uh, config file here just a little bit and get rid of all these comments and stuff. I don't need those. And then I think after that, if we still have time, uh, I will mess around with. Um, probably the GTK theme, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Just kind of a freeform video of me figuring out how to... A little bit more racing, if you learn something. Like, as I say in all my videos, these are not tutorials, unless I specifically state they are tutorials. This is more just me going through and racing my own system. If you learn something, or if you learn how not to do something, which is more likely, um, then, uh, you know, it's going to be grand. So, anyways, good for you. <laughs> so, the thing we're going to do first, let's, um, actually what we want to do is, um, let's go to a, a different workspace here and cd into dot config bspwm and go into polybar and go into config. Okay. And then, um, then I want to open. I want to look at my i3 polybar. So we need to do a vertical split. Uh, let's see, tilde slash dot config i3. Oops, polybar thing. Okay. And if we scroll down here, there's a, a mod a module I have called uh, divider. Oops. And what I would like to do, oops, oops, damn, is copy that and go over to the other one. Oops. Oh, that's really dumb. Okay, so in BSPWM, apparently, mod, or in this, at least in this one, not mod, um, like H or something takes me to H top. All right, that's because I was pressing mods that control. I'm a dumb, 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 dumb. dumb. Anyways, <laughs> so if we go to the bottom of this one and paste this, okay, and go back up here to the BSPWM thing here. Do 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 do. Right here, okay. So, what we want to do is a divider, 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 okay. And oops, that's because. Now that's interesting. It, that killed Polybar, but didn't restart it. Just adding that shouldn't have done crap. Okay. I wonder why. That's really weird. That should have just added dividers between each module. Hmm.
That's really weird. So, go down here. Make sure I, you know, copy that over properly. It looks fine. It's going to have something to do with fonts. I'm going to tell you this right now. I guarantee it's going to have something to do with fonts. Fonts are always the bane of everyone's existence. Okay, so let's look at the difference between the fonts here and the ones in my i3 config where I know it works. Oops, yeah. Hmm, let's see here. Ah, see, this is, mu this is much different. See, I have, um... So let's just go ahead and copy these all over. Oops. And I'm gonna have to go back and yank the other ones. Again, CV. Do 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 do. And WQ. And um, I'm going to have to go to 3 here and see what restart BDSPWM is. Because. Oops. Super Y. No, that's not working. Uh, no audio stuff. Right, we have to go back down. This is basically Arco's stock BSPWM config, so I haven't played around much with this. And there's a lot of uh, weird stuff in here. Uh, let's see here. Um, Super control kit that does the pre selection reload. Super shift R should reload. Super shift R does not reload. That's really weird. That should reload. Weird. Alright, you want to know what? I'm going to pause here and restart and see what the hell is going on. Because that doesn't make any sense. Because that should just work that should just work okay give me a second okay as you can see I still have no poly bar and I don't know why so we're gonna um, I don't know why that doesn't make any sense. I have to be doing something funky. So it wasn't a font issue. I would have sworn that it would have been, would have been a font issue. But you want to know what? We're just going to go through and delete all these word dividers. Okay. And we'll go to the end. And we'll just go ahead and delete all this. And there's polybar again. Weird, and and the spacing now is all messed up because it, it's using different font. That's the reason why. Oh, weird. What? Apparently, I can use those dividers. I mean, that's just weird. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get rid of that that weird padding. It's going to have something to do with, uh, like I hate that, I hate that extra space in between. Okay, so let's look at the padding here, let's see. Do, 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 format padding, make that to zero. Don't know if that worked or not. Let's okay. 
Okay, uh, it's padding. I mean, it's removing some. And the next one is uh, uh, pay volume here. Okay. And uh, let's see here. File system. Okay, looking for padding, 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 padding. Hmm. I don't see any padding there at all. I wonder if for spacing? Spacing is not going to be the same thing. Okay, so we're not going to get to. There's no padding option there that I'm seeing. Uh -uh, okay. The next one is date one. And. Uh, Okay, and date two, might as well do the same thing here. Okay, well, I mean, that's a little bit, there's still so much space. Why is there so much space? It's gonna have something to do with the fonts. It's always the fonts, and I'm not sure why it wouldn't take my dividers. Okay, so that's a disappointment. So we're gonna go with um, Dracula coloring. We've done the polybar. Um, now, the question I have is, let's move this to tag 2 and open up a web browser here. Okay. Looks good. Um, we want to find out if we can use, use have termite different config file. That's what I want. I want to use a different config file each for each on termite. So, so I use termite as my um, terminal emulator here. I want to be able to use a different terminal, uh, a different config file. So right now cd So right now I use this, and this has pie wall coloring. And it's pulling that pie, that PyCom coloring from my ZSH config. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to change that without a, because I wanna keep pie wall for when I use DWM, but I don't wanna use pie wall here. Um, yeah, so it's making termite use a different config file isn't actually going to do any changing here. Uh, see right here I use, these are for pie wall here. Do -do 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 -do. And I don't want to delete those because like I said I use pie wall in DWM and I like pie wall. It just... I want to see. I'm interested in seeing what Pywall would look like with Polybar. Okay, so Polybar can read colors from X resources to set the bar's colors. Wall can also reload your config file for you automatically if it detects the Polybar is running. Okay, so if. I copy this over here. And we can close out of that. And what we want to do here is comment this out here. And comments in this are done with semicolons, which is a dumb way to do comments. Why can't you just use um, hashtags like a normal person? Okay. Okay, so see that <laughs> made it look really weird. <laughs> okay, so in order to for that to be proper, all these module, the regular module, the background. Hold on a second. 
Because right now I'm using the background here. This has to be this. Yeah, see? And now we're using Pywall. Now if I go and do this, if we search... Um, let's, uh, let me find a, a wallpaper here that's good. It doesn't really matter what, what I use, I guess. I'm on my other screen if you're wondering what I'm doing here. Um, so if I do wall-i dash wall dash and I haven't binded this to a key binding yet. I'm going to do that eventually. I do pictures, walls, 4107. Okay. Um, maybe something a little bit. Okay, and so if, we use, if we're going to use pie wall here, we might as well go through and use Pywall and BSPWM as well. Let's see how that works. Uh, BSPWM right here. So all we supposedly all we have to do is add this from here to here. Okay. Roll out of this and CD up of and CD then BSPWMRC. We can close this. Um, what we want to do is go through and um, comment these out because I don't want to lose them. And you just control this. Q and control shift R. Yeah. And now if we do uh, if we look for, do a change of, of wallpaper, wall dash I pictures, walls. We'll find another one. Do 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 do. I have a ton of wallpapers, I think everybody does. Ooh, this one's good. Benjamin Davies. Oh, cool. Um, now, obviously, in order for the modules themselves then to change to a different color, I'd have to go through and change all those back to foreground. The foreground of those to this. A CD into BSPW. The polybar. Config, okay, and we want to let's see here. A foreground, we want to V into this and yank it, okay. So let's see first weather. Let's see how this works. Okay, format foreground. Change. Oops. Ah. ah, damn. I'm gonna have to actually copy the damn thing. <laughs> All right, let's just go copy it. I think I have. Uh, we want to call it copy this. Oops. Um. I don't think that this is going to work. I think what this is going to do is make this, like, white. I have a feeling it's going to make it white. No, it made it a weird gray brown color. Let's try one of the other ones. So, memory 2. Oops. And... Uh, 
that's going to make them all the same color. Oh, that's disappointing. That's kind of ugly. Let's change it to do it. That's, that's just a weird color scheme, isn't it? Let's see, wall dash eye. And we'll uh, change it to a different background, something a little bit bluer. I'm going to go blue. Or dark, I guess. Let's see, DA8. Now, oh, see, that's cool. Um, I don't know that it actually changed. It did change. It did. But they'd all be the same color. That's not, that's not bueno, you know? That's not good. So how would I make a, a different color? You can use foreground alt, primary. It's just color one, color two. So you could, could use different colors. Foreground dash alt. So let's uh, memory two. Dash alt. Alt. That did nothing. That did nothing, probably because the colors are so similar. Okay, well that's interesting. So Pywall works cool. Pywall is a cool program. So for those of you who don't know, Pywall basically, as you've seen, makes color schemes, and it changes your terminal, and can change your poly bar, and changes the, you know, the background of, you know, look like the um, border here changed, um, and that's cool. But apparently for poly bar. Uh, let's see where you at. Um, all you can change is that. That's a bit disappointing. What I'd like to be able to do is have it set up so that it used... So, like, you can see here it gives you the palette. So it could be cool if you could use that palette in each module so that they were all different. I guess I'll have to do some research on that and see how it works. So let's change to a different wallpaper and see what it looks like. Something a little bit different. Something a little different. Let's see here. Um, why not? Okay, that's a little different, I guess. It still uses weird colors. That's a cool wallpaper. I stole that from someone. I don't know who. Um, I suppose we could do, could do uh, something that's really dark. This one's here called is called Solar. It doesn't really change anything. You know, like the background of this is supposed to change. And <laughs> I forgot that I have nitrogen in the background that restarts every time I restart to be some BSPWM. Okay. Well, this was basically a waste of a, of a video. But, you know, learn something from my mistakes. Today we've learned that for whatever reasons the dividers weren't going to go into BSPWM. You know, fine or whatever. I'll get, still got to figure out why that is. Um, we've learned that Pywall is only mediocre with polybar. That's not really all that great. Because um, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, so I'm going to have to do some little research, and we'll talk about that in part three, maybe, um, if I do a part three of this. Um, maybe we'll choose a different color scheme, because maybe we'll just do a color scheme and screw Pywall, because I wasn't originally planning on using Pywall today. I was going to plan on continuing with, with Dracula, but I didn't, you know, succeed in that, in that endeavor. Anyways, um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification icon thing there if you want to uh, watch any more of this utter nonsense. Because this is what, that's what this is, is utter nonsense. I will leave a link to Pywall in case you're interested in messing around with it. I'm going to continue to do so. Um, even though it's not as great as I always, you know, had hoped it would be. Because it doesn't change enough. You know, I'd love to tie Pywall to Firefox. Change Firefox themes that way. That'd be really cool, but it's not, you know, 
not going to happen. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.